Jana Lee Simner was the target of a bully during her childhood. She's written about her experience in the book Dear Bully. 70 authors tell their stories. And she's good enough to join us live this morning from Tucson, Arizona. Good morning. Good morning, Carol. Thanks for having me here. I'm so glad you're here this morning. You wrote in your blog about the many years you were bullied. Your essay later got published into that book. So why do you feel the need to revisit these terrible experiences you had? I think it's for the kids who are there now. You know, I feel like, you know, I came, I was lucky and I came out the other side just fine. But I know there are children who are in school now going through the same things that many of us were when we were children. Sadly, that is true. Tell us about the bullying you experienced in middle school and in high school. Actually, for me, it was mostly elementary and middle school. And I should say there wasn't any one specific bully in my case. It was more that I was the kid who it was kind of the safest to pick on. I was a little bit awkward and a little bit sensitive and cried a little bit easily. So beginning in elementary school, early elementary school, there was a lot of verbal teasing. And then by later elementary school and early middle school, it was a little more physical, things being thrown, that sort of thing. Aww. But but these experiences stuck with you and affected your life. I, and in, even at some point you felt, was I imagining that? Did it really happen to me? Do I deserve to feel this way? You know, I always, I always knew it happened and was real, partly because I was very lucky in having supportive adults, even if I didn't have any supportive classmates who kind of validated that this was really going on. But then, as I said in the Salon article, there was this strange experience where my classmates began getting in touch online and they wouldn't talk about what had happened as if either they didn't remember it or to them this thing that kind of defined my school experience was just a minor thing that wasn't worth mentioning. So, so they didn't even realize how much their behavior affected you. But there was one bully who admitted to bullying you. And, and tell us about conversing with him online. And that was really startling. I got an email from him saying, you know, I was in you know, in fourth grade, I was in so-and-so's class, and I remember a Jenny Simner, was that you? And I thought, okay, it's someone else is going to just kind of get in touch, and we'll exchange a few, you know, niceties and then move on. So I, we compared notes and confirmed that we had been in this class together. And then he actually said, which completely surprised me, that, you know, he remembered that he had teased me. And like I said, he wasn't among the worst or the only one doing it, but that he did remember the teasing and that he thought about it through the years and he just wanted to touch base and see if I was okay. Did he say he was sorry? Pretty much. I can't remember if those were the exact words, but that was definitely the content. But you know, that's always a fantasy that people have when they were bullied in school, that they'll run into their bully and they'll give him a talking to and that bully will have remorse and they'll say, I'm sorry. Was you know, that what was yours? wonderful is I sort of, it was val very validating. And what I realized was he'd actually had that moment years before. And by middle school, and we were in different middle schools, he was actually standing up for bullied kids. Oh. So he'd had that moment of realization years ago. And we'd pretty much been on the same side for years. And we were both concerned about the kids who were in school now. Uh, you know, I've often wondered whether um, it's a good idea for those bullied years ago to get in touch with their bullies. I mean, to make the effort to get in touch and to talk with these people, to tell them, look, you were wrong, you hurt me, and this is what I have to say to you now. You know, I don't know if, if he hadn't gotten in touch, I wouldn't have gone around emailing people who bullied me. I think the best way of sort of confronting the past is living well in the present. And I think I've been doing that, you know, through my writing and through my life. So lastly, what advice would you give parents who have a, a child in school who's being bullied? For parents, the first thing I would say is never tell your child that it's in some way their fault. Because I've talked to friends who have grown up believing something was wrong with them. And that made it a lot harder to move past it. And just be supportive. Let them know that you actually do care. I think for both kids and adults, even small acts of kindness can make a huge difference. Even if it doesn't seem like they're changing the big picture, they show that at least you care enough to be trying, and I think that's hugely important. 